As I'm sitting up here having a conversation with my ancestors and the point where I'm at now and where I know I'm headed, I just had to ask my ancestors, well, damn, was I really that traumatized? <laughs> was it really that bad? Do I, did I, was I not aware? <laughs> it's 10 o'clock. Oops, I took a screenshot, my bad. But was I really that unaware of how much trauma that I had within my mindset that I had to heal, that I had to recover from? Because, baby, I know who I am. I know the work that I have put in. When I tell you, my journey, baby, it has been so tiresome. It's crazy. I've been doing it alone. I've had support from one main person. And it just has me up here thinking like, where is the real people that I deserve to have in my life? Where are the people like me? Where is my tribe? You know, I know what my vibration is. I know who I am. I've had so many people judge me. I've had so many people that are just against me. And I know I have very high vibrational because of the attacks that have been on me. <laughs> because if I just look back over my, my recent life, I'm talking about my entire life since childhood when I wasn't even an adult. Since I came out the womb, baby. And it's like, spirit, like what's really going on? What is life really about? And even though I'm where I'm at in life, I'm very blissful. I've, I'm completely and fully healed. But how long once you know that you're in this healed state, does it really take for you to see the results of your desires of at least just one desire? When you know you have put a multitude of manifestations out there to return to you. And all of those manifestations is what triggered your healing spirit says, oh, you said you want this, you want that, you want that, and you want that. Oh, okay. Here you go. <laughs> Time to go on the ride. <laughs> when I tell y'all this thing has been... A long journey and my most recent journey, it just seems like my life has been struggle after struggle after struggle. But I don't claim that at all. I claim luxuriousness. I claim the things that I do desire. I claim love, peace, friendship, genuineness, you know, values, character, the things that people don't care about anymore. And it's like, where are the real ones at? You know, so I'm just reflecting like, okay, spirit. I've been in this chill, calm space for a long little minute here, you know, like something's got to give. And I, tonight I just completely just like, you know what? Y'all got it. <laughs> I'm done with this thing. Y'all got it. Spirit, you know what I've asked for. You know what I've put out here in the universe. You know the work I have done. I've helped so many people, so many people. So many people. I have put so much good out into this world. And it seems like all I get is attacked. It seems like all I get is judged. It seems like all people want to do is talk negative on me. Y'all can read my energy. Y'all can feel my spirit. Now, I know how to knock if your book. You know what I mean? Just I'm just saying, you know? <laughs> but at the end of the day, that's not who I am at the core. Unless I need to be. You get it? So for me to walk around... Being this beautiful light that I am, that I know I am, that I had to come in to learn who I am, part of that journey. It's like, why all of this negativity around me? And it's because I am the light. But with that, I know there's a lot of positivity as well. And it's like, spirit, I've paid my dues. 
And no, I can't say the day, nor the hour, nor the time, how spirit, how ancestors decide to bless me and rain down. But when I tell you I got some banging ass blessings in the spiritual realm. And a lot of the blessings that I have is so many people that don't even want what I have. I know I think on a higher level. I know I think different. The things that I have acts to manifest and they're not material things per se you know what I mean they're connections it's it's real genuine people it's it's direction at certain times even when I'm saying spirit what direction do I need to go and I feel like it's just this long pause like you go figure it out <laughs> and I figure it out but it's slow when I say it's so slow it's like I just don't get it and I teach spirituality, you know, but we don't know everything, you know. I can't tell you when things are going to happen specifically in my life or your life or, you know, all of those things. All we can do is put those things out there and trust that they're coming back to us. But the thing is, it's like when we ask for certain things, we have to know that spirit is going to bless us with those things, but it's going to require us to level up. To become a certain person to receive those things in which we are desiring or those things that which we have asked for. And if you are asking for major things, major, major things, then it's going to require a major shift, a major change, a major sacrifice. And baby, the sacrifice don't be pretty. Not at all. You truly realize the traumas that you have carried around since childhood. You have to go back and deal with all of that. You have to do the inner work. You truly have to heal your heart, your mind, your body, your soul. You really have to do the work. And a lot of times we think that we're ready and then spirit brings us, you know, something to test that area that we're seeking in, right? For some, it could be money. For some, it could be relationships. It could be just speaking up. It could be a lot of different things. And you may say, oh yeah, if this happens, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And then that very thing happens only for you to realize, dang, I didn't do exactly what I know I should have done. See, you may know it, but your actions are not at the level of your knowing yet. So spirit continues to bring in physical people, physical experiences to test your action behind your knowledge. And so we may think we're ready because we have that knowledge. And then when we receive those uh, those tests from the universe, it's like, oh, shit. It's not that you failed. You just realize, okay, now I know. And that experience probably allow you to really know. But you do get to a point to where you know that you have uh, healed many of those areas in your life and that you are done with the healing. We're not here to heal our entire lives. Our entire lives is not to just wake up and heal every single day. It's a period of time that, yes, you will have to do that. You know, it could take years. It could take three years, four years. For some, it may only take six or seven months. You know, it just depends. Everybody's life journey is different. You know, you could put five to 10 desires in the pot at one time. And it's like, oh, you asked for all of that at once. Okay, so you got to go through four years or whatever. You know, not saying that's what it equates to. But you may say, only put one thing in the pot. And it's like, oh, okay, you're not too far off from receiving that. You know, it's only going to take three to six months. You know, so it just depends because all of the things that you have asked for is all working together for your specific good, for your specific life, for no one else. So if you're not asking for anything, then your subconscious mind is asking for you, okay? And your subconscious mind is what you have already been trained and embedded to believe, think, and, and, and to, it, what you have been embedded to already think and believe about your life, about your experiences and what you can or cannot do. So you have to take control of your subconscious mind by changing your belief systems and doing the work surrounding those things that you desire. But uh, it, it allows you to, to, to have this full 
healing. So when you do receive those things that you have manifested, when you actually receive the tangible, where you can touch it, taste it, feel it, and all of that, then you can really enjoy it and keep it and not lose it. Because a lot of times people, they can get what they ask for and then they lose it immediately. And it's like, whoa, you can get the woman, you can get the man, but can you keep the man or woman? You can get the job, but can you keep it? You know? And so thank God, thank spirit, thank your ancestors that spirit is allowing you to go through the journey of healing versus saying, oh, you asked for that? Here you go. And then you completely lose it because then you would feel some type of way, right? So go through your temporary healing Because it is temporary, even if it's been a five-year journey, even if it's been a two-year journey, a 10-year journey, however long it's been, but it doesn't have to take that long depending on how active you are. And once you wake up and realize, hey, I need to be active in my healing, then you can speed up that process a little bit quicker. But like I said, it comes to a certain point where you know, okay, spirit, I know I've passed these tests because you just brought this in and you brought this in and you brought this in. And I know without a shadow of a doubt that I have definitely um, healed those areas. Then it's kind of like you're in that waiting space and that waiting uh, period 11, 11 on the timer for spirit to bring those things in and usher those things in. And all you can really do is truly just wait your turn, wait in line until your time is here for you to receive the blessings that you know spirit is giving to you. So this is to encourage you to keep on going. Do not stop while you are on your journey. Each person is at an individual point and you know where you are and you may think you're ready. Hell, I may be thinking I'm ready right now, but really may not be because I I thought I was ready some years ago. I'm just like, oh, I had to come all the way back home to heal some traumas with my mama. You you get what I'm saying? I had to come back home to heal some traumas with my family, you know, because I wouldn't have been able to receive what I really wanted to, to receive. I had to really go in and do the work and really let go of a lot of things, really face a lot of things that I was holding on to and I did not realize that I was holding on to. I had to face learning how, oh, I'm being too naive. Oh, I'm letting this person run over me. Oh, I need to do this. It's like, boom, light bulb, light bulb, light bulb, all over the place. So when I tell you your manifestations, you will receive them. Spirit just wanted you to have them in the best way possible. And who better to wrap up the perfect gift and present to you than spirit themselves. So stay encouraged. Don't give up. You may have had a plan to go this way and spirit took you all the way over this way. (laughs) And you may have felt like you were stuck. You may have felt traumatized. You may have felt like spirit, but I asked for this and you brought me here and you brought me. And it's like, hey, it was to help you. You are exactly where you were meant to be. Everything is always on time. Okay? If you feel like you are struggling right now, if you feel like, well, damn, was I that traumatized? What, did I have that much work, that much healing? And the truth is, yes. Yes. I know my story. And everyone may have not have had such a dramatic or traumatic life experience or that they have to heal from, depending on what you were born into. But baby, that's why you take that and you bless the world with what you know, with your experiences, so you can help them. Because I'm not the only one. So I'm here to encourage you that yes, you probably were that traumatized. Or your issues were that deep. Even on the outside, it's like, okay, I'm this and I'm that. It's not good to be naive. It's not good to be a nice person. Let me tell you, I was the, I was the nice person. Fuck that. Mm-mm. Nice don't get you nowhere, but fucked up. Let me tell you that. Taking advantage of. People thinking that they can walk all over you. I didn't know how to set boundaries. I didn't know how to speak up for myself, stand up for myself. Baby, it gets deep and it gets real. And y'all going to hear all about it. But before all of that, I'm just sitting up here, like I said, like, well, damn, I really 
had a lot to heal from. And I'm proud of myself because this was my journey. And I had to do it all by my lonesome. Babe, whew. I had to do it all by my lonesome. And there's many of you guys out there, soldiers, y'all out there doing the damn thing. Y'all out there getting it. I read people's comments, not just on my page, but, you know, as I watch other inspirational uh, videos and motivation and all of this stuff that's out here on the world of YouTube and so many people's comments, even if it's on a housing video, some people like, oh, I wish I had this house because of this and this, and they just go and tell their whole life story. And it's like, whoa, hold on, let me comment and, you know, bring some light to their situation. You know, I know y'all out there. Feeling the burdens, feeling stressed, feeling like there is no way out. I am living proof and testimony that you have to change your mindset. You have to change your mindset, which is your belief systems. What do you really believe about yourself? Do you, do you have a belief system that's rooted in fear or a belief system that's rooted in faith? See, I had a belief system rooted in fear, even though I grew up in a Christian religious household. Baby, that's going to have to be a whole nother video. Okay? You would think it, I would have been rooted in faith, but best believe I have so much faith. But it was just covered up with all of this fear. But I was always operating in the faith in my ego mind, but my subconscious mind was, baby, uh-uh, behind that is a whole lot of fear. <laughs> so you have to really discover what mindsets you have to change, what belief systems, and it takes work. It takes being active in your own healing process in order to really change what you see physically around you. Everything is energy and we can control that energy by what we think, by what we say, by what we feel. So the main vibration of what you're putting out with your feeling is going to manifest the type of car you drive, the type of person that you're in a relationship with, the how much money is in your bank account. And I know all of these things. Oh, baby, I'm a wealth of fucking knowledge. <laughs> but to have to go through the journey on my own, you know, to, to prove that I can uh, back up what I know has been the journey. And that has been the case for many of you all too. So no matter where you are in your journey, do know that spirit has you. Okay. Keep going. Don't give up. Okay. We never give up. We may, you know, have our moments, but baby, we don't ever give up. Not on ourselves. That's what we don't do. We're going to find a way. We can take a break if we need to. But we're going to find a way to persevere. No matter what. And baby, let me tell you. The glow up. <laughs> so many people out here may have the money. They may have the show. You know, the, it looks like one way. But behind, behind closed doors, they are miserable as shit. When I tell you. I know how to be blissful just because I exist, because I have changed my mindset, because I have healed my traumas, because I have laid the past to rest and I have deaded that. I can now fully walk in my purpose. I've always been walking in my purpose, but I wasn't fully able to operate in my purpose because I had a lot of trauma that I had to still heal from. And I'm so thankful that I decided to actually be active within my own healing journey, even though it took me years. And I'm still in the process of coming out of that, walking into the blessing. Oh, baby, it's only going to be it's only going to be a short amount of time before you see this background change, before you see, you know, a difference. And where you guys will be able to be witness to those blessings. OK, it's only a matter of time because I know who I am and where I am. And what my purpose is and where I'm headed. You know, let spirit say, look, like I said, you be thinking you're ready this spirit. Be like, ah. But I know what time it is. And so do you. So, like I said, no matter where you are in your journey, don't give up. Use this as motivation. Use this as inspiration, as encouragement. That whatever you are going through, you can make it through. No, my story is not your story. No, I do not know what you are going through. But I am human 
and I have had my own journey. And I am here encouraging you to make it through all those tears, all those uh, fight in the air, wanting to just throw stuff, but you're just throwing your hands. You know what I mean? Because sometimes it get that real. And from the outside looking in, people could think you're, you know, I don't like to say that word, but people, you know, could think that, you know, something is wrong or that you, you know, belong in an asylum, asylum asylum or something, you know, and it's like, because they, they feel like you're, you're demonic because, you know, you fight in the air and it's like, would you rather me fight you? Cause otherwise I got to get this out somehow. So don't let anybody make you feel they got, they don't create break rooms for nothing. When I say break rooms, you know how they have the, the, the TVs and all the things that you can go in with the bat or things you can just throw and stuff that helps you to release. It has not. Yes. A lot of people does have anger and they don't want to admit it. So if you one of the people you ain't go want to admit who you are, that's not for you. It, this ain't for you right now. Because you you have to be able to admit who you are and what you have been through and how it has really affected you. For, so you can get through it. And it doesn't mean you're angry. It means, hey, I'm human. You know what I mean? And if someone tries to act like they have never had any type of emotion, you know, like, oh, you crying. You a wimp. You a sap. Like, oh, so you just go hold your shit in. Oh, okay. You stay over there with your toxic ass. <laughs> we healing over this way. We facing ourselves over this way. We looking in the mirror constantly all day, every day, baby. Let me tell you. All day, every day. We speak those things that are not as though they were. We speak life into ourselves. Okay? Speak over your life, boo. Okay? So you guys can connect with me for any personal one-on-one -on -one services down below in the description bar. I hope this did encourage somebody out there to keep going on your journey. And do know that, baby, them blessings is going to rain down so big on that ass just for you. Okay, so keep going and do not give up. Thank y'all so much for your continued support. I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next video. I am High Priestess Nayla Latrice. Peace.